Hello, Sherry Hayes here, and I hope you all are having a great week so far. I just returned um, from an event this past weekend down in Dayton, Ohio. It was put on by um, Shanine at One More Romance, and I have to say it was one of the best events I have been to so far as an author. I had a wonderful time, and I know that most of the authors that attended did as well. Um, I'm hoping to attend future events that, that, that Shanine puts on, um, so I can't wait for that. I also wanted to let those of you who are watching know that I do have one more author event scheduled for me to attend this year. Uh, it will be PendCon in St. Louis, Missouri, July 23rd through the 25th. Um, and for those of you who follow my new series, Serpent's Kiss, uh, it is set in St. Louis, Missouri, which is why I chose PendCon um, to attend this year. And I'm hoping um, for a little bit of time to see some of the sites. And I'm also going to get the opportunity to meet with the gentleman who helped answer tons of questions that I had about um, the St. Louis Fire Department and being a firefighter in the city of St. Louis. So I am looking forward to that as well as meeting um, readers in St. Louis. There are tickets still available for PendCon if you are interested in attending and maybe coming and seeing me. Um, <laughs> there, I think they start at $10, so they're, it's it's pretty affordable event to, uh, to participate in. I did not have any questions submitted uh, in the comments last time, so I decided to go back and dig through some of my old blog tour um, posts, and I found one from 2013. Uh, it was just after I'd finished writing um, Truth in my Finding Anna series and the blogger was asking how I deal with particularly emotional scenes and um, how I kind of get out of that mindset, that headspace. Um, I do get very emotional when I write. I, I get in my character's head um, and I allow myself to feel what they're feeling, um, whether it be happy, sad, anxiety, um, I really try to put myself in their shoes when I'm writing. So it is emotional for me, and for those of you who have read Finding Anna, you know that truth is extremely emotional, especially towards the end of that book. Um, I was kind of interested to see how my, um, if anything, had changed, because I wrote this blog post back in 2013 and of course two years have, have passed since then. I was surprised to see that not really much had changed. Um, I still need the distraction afterwards. I, um, I typically need to get up away from my computer, talk to a friend or my husband, um, read a book, watch a TV show, something to take me away from that world uh, that I had so immersed myself in um, during that emotional scene. So my question, I'm giving this question to uh, the other writers out there that may be watching this video. How do you deal with writing a, an extremely emotional scene? What do you do afterwards? How do you deal with it? and the emotional drain that it um, may or not put on you. Uh, leave your answer in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Also, um, if you have a question, reader or writer, um, that you would like to hear me, hear my response to in a future video, leave that in the comments below. Um, I look forward to hearing from you and until next time, happy reading.